Hi, today's video is a bit sensitive but I have to do it. The use of technology has been on the rise today and one concern that has been raised by a lot of people and organizations has to do with how people's data are stored and used. Recently, Facebook was in the news about how its data collected on users were being used and a lot more. And this isn't just about Facebook. There has been similar situations with a lot of other technology companies all over the world. As an individual, have you been bothered about all this? I think you should be. Just some few days ago, people were using an app called FaceApp to tell how they would look in some years to come and there has already been security concerns raised about it. Technology we know is neutral. It isn't good nor bad but the behavior towards it or how we use it makes it good or bad. Today, one very useful resource is data. Data is money. And how is data money? Well, data gathered about people today are used to make predictions about the future. They are used for target advertisement, um, research, and many other more. When your data is in the hands of a legitimate organization, you need not to worry. But when it gets into the hands of bad people, then there's an issue because you can be spied on. You can easily even be killed if you are found as a threat and oh, most relationships today are being terminated due to all these. How do you tell if a company is going to use your data in an appropriate way or not? Example, take for instance Google. Google appears to be a cool company which has been around over the years and has collected a lot of data on people, their search history, their browse history, their movement, their voice, and many other more. What Google feeds on is data. But one thing I don't find cool about a company like Google or others on how they go about storing our data has to do with the way they draft their end user license agreement privacy policy and terms of use. Most of the time, they put a bunch of text together which can take you about days to finish reading if you ever want to read. And this has led so many people sign up for services, not just from Google, but from other companies that has given them a lot of power with the data they collect about them because they fail to read all these legal documents. To me, this isn't cool at all. Just a few days ago, a friend was sharing with me about how each and every single search or activity performed with Google Assistant was being kept and that actually inspired this particular video. Each and every single word I asked Google Assistant is actually being kept on Google. Let me show you how to go about that. Now to get to this, I'm going to use my Android device. So this is my phone. I'm going to go ahead to open the browser. And then in the address tab, I'm going to search for account.google.com. So I'm going to go ahead to hit on OK to search it up. And as you can see, I'm on my account page. So at this section, I'm going to go ahead to go to data and personalization. So once I come in here, there are a couple of options available in here. What we are interested in has to do with the voice and audio activity. So I'm going to go ahead to tap on that to expand that. And then I'm going to go ahead to go to manage activity. So this is going to um, bring about my activity with the audios um, I have actually recorded, not necessarily recorded, but used um, when I was using my Google Assistant, all these um, stuff that I said were actually captured. So as you can see, somewhere around um, this particular date, somewhere in 20, uh, 21st December 2018, it says, um, who is Jesus? So I was actually doing that. Let me just play the sound for you to listen to it. Thank you. Jesus. Okay. I don't know if you heard that. Jesus. So that was somewhere um, December 21st, 2018. Now let me just scroll all the way down. I haven't done so much with um, Google Assistant. So the first activity was somewhere on, um, on the 22nd of I guess 2016 and I think this was what I said I said Joyce and then uh, this was hey do you have any ideas of, of the food I can eat so that's crazy but so. okay Google hey do you have any ideas of the food I can get so as you can see so this this is basically what I wanted to share 
with you um, in this particular video so i guess you've gone you've seen how to go about um seeing your activity especially with google assistant i'm sure there's more if we come back um, from the google assistance or the voice aspect there are a couple of other options available in there which in your own time you can go ahead and then take a look at what's actually been happening there so if you come to the data and personalization there are a couple of um, options here so you can go ahead and then check them up and let me know what you find in there i was totally blown away and this isn't with me only but with so many other people who tend to fall victim to cut everything short here are a few steps you can implement to minimize the data you share about you be mindful of who you are granting access to your data this could be by limiting the services or platforms you sign up on um, limit permissions to apps on your phone and all your technology devices you use turn off your location if it's necessary and limit the use of advanced technology devices phones computers tvs and and so on finally if possible don't follow the crowd on what people are jumping on that um, services apps games and so on we are not safe in today's world therefore our primary security lies in our own hands let's help by sharing this video to create awareness be safe wherever you find yourself so that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel all you have to do is to smash the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it once again my name is eshmalamte thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one